They were they were saying they were on sale for 99 but I was scanning it and it was like $15 or more. So that's over. Looking at the paper, I see some paper here I didn't see. And the other guy was for a teenage boy gift. Do you think it would be bad if I got them like a uh, for Destiny's bedroom and I cannot find it? I'm sure they have some maybe, but I can't the gift. This was $19.99 and this is a Christmas blanket. Welcome back for another vlog. So let me start this vlog off with a prayer. And today's prayer is, Dear God, I am not the same person that I used to be. I'm going through changes. Some days are better than others, but I always try to remain grateful at all times. Help me accept that with these changes in my life, everyone won't understand me anymore. I ask that you please stay by my side while I'm going through the motions. Remind me that it's going to be okay to outgrow certain things and people, especially if it's for my well-being. My only concern is to please you, not the world. I ask that you continue to work on me in private. Everything around me may change, but you always remain the same. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I pray that, that prayer blesses you guys today. Um, today is cold and gloomy outside. Y'all, it is cold. How many degrees is it? This morning when the kids went to school, it was 31. It's now 40. I think the highest today is supposed to be 53. Now in the South, that's cold for us. It's freezing. Um, but I have to go run some errands today. First, I need to go to Dollar Tree. I'm on the hunt for those bowls, those glass bowls with a lid. And then I, I'm going to a different Dollar Tree. And then I have to get some gifts for this Sunday. We're having our last small group party is two of them so last small group party for one of them and it's Grinch theme I've been telling you guys this in a few past few vlogs but we're also doing a gift exchange so we're doing a gift exchange for like Destiny for example she's exchanging a gift and so are the boys and then John and I so that's five gifts there's also a budget on them um so that's what I'll be doing I'm on the hunt for the items for this gift exchange and stuff like that so i'm definitely staying in the budget because y'all know this time of year is very very expensive so um but yeah so i got i am taking you guys along with me i hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for your support in the last few vlogs i'm so glad you guys enjoyed it it's so weird when you have so much fun and then once everyone leaves it feels so weird in the house but we had to get back on track and back doing all the things not to mention my face broke out you guys because i had a little bit too much fun with the food on thanksgiving and when you don't eat a certain way it shows it shows inside your body my face broke out and everything so um i'm back on track so there's that i also want to thank you guys so much for 13k subscribers y'all my goal was to make it to 13k by the end of december by the end of the year and I finally made it by the end of this month. So by the time you guys watch this video, it's the day before December 1st. And today is Tuesday. So it's this, uh, it's the 26th. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for your support, for clicking on my videos every time I post, whether you watch it right away or a few days later. Thank you guys so much. And if you're new here, I hope you like my content enough just to subscribe. Y'all, I'll be working hard. <laughs> Well, I hope you, you all enjoy my content. So let's get out of this house, even though it's cold. I got one more my car too. I'm looking at the paper. I see some paper here I didn't see. At the other Dollar Tree we went to last time. This is cute. I like this. I like this one. I'm gonna take that with me. And I also like this one as well. Oh, I grabbed two by mistake. I only need one. All right. I'm gonna put one back. This one's pretty too, but I think these two should be good. Put that in here. I already grabbed, the first thing I grabbed was this, Destiny. They're doing like every single day in December till school is out. They're having a theme and y'all, those themes be getting me every time. Every single time. They told me she would like to paint another ornament, so I wonder which one she would like more. I think this is cute, the boot and the mitten. Well, why not? Let's do these two. Yeah. 
guys are so cute. I love them. Every year they've been coming out with some new ones, but this is a Dollar Tree Plus, like the last one. A lot of people put these on their Christmas tree, or when they do like a hot cocoa bar, but like on their Christmas tree, they put it right there towards the front. Every time I come to Dollar Tree, one of the things I always look for is a two and a half gallon Ziploc bags. Most of the time they do not have it, but they have it this time. Hey, yes, I'm happy. I'm gonna get two packs. I finally found them. The glass bowls with the lid. Yay! I'm gonna get a few of these. Did I tell you guys that I, um, it's real random. I just got to Target, but did I tell you guys that I cut my hair? I cut about two, three inches off. I needed a new, uh, like a cut, a good cut. And I have a lot of hair. <laughs> So I cut about two, three inches, I will have to say, two and a half inches off my hair. So it looks kind of short right now, but I'm cool with it. So for a teenage boy gift, do you think it would be bad if I got them like a, a shower kit? You know, teenage boys, they got, you know, hygiene is very important. I wonder would they like something like this. I think, I mean, I would like it if my kids got it. It's in the budget. I don't know. That's an option, y'all. They got the men's stuff here. And then what else they have over here? I'm in the men's section. Because John has to do a gift exchange as well. They got the Harry's um, gift set. That's another good option. That's a good gift. It says, The Beard That Stole Christmas. A Tale of, of Taming a Roly Beast. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's nice too, okay? But what if the person that receives the gift doesn't have a beard? Okay, so these are options. These are options. Really love that wreath right there. It's only $20 too. I think that's really good. Because y'all, one thing that wreaths are always going to be is expensive. But that one is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Y'all look at this ornament. Isn't she cute with the little pink hair? These like felt ornaments are $3. All right, y'all, so I am back in the car. I hardly found anything at Target. Well, in my price range, let me fix you guys. In my price range, I did not find anything. There was a few things, but like some of the Barbies, they were they were saying they were on sale for $9.99, but I would scan it, and it was like $15 or more, so that's over the budget. I think I'm going to go to Ollie's. We went, John and I went there like two weeks ago, and their, their prices were pretty good. So I think I'm going to go there and see if I can find something. And then TJ Maxx is right next door, so whatever I don't find at Ollie's, I can find there. That's what I'm going to do, you guys. I always got to bring some water with me because I get so thirsty. So it's a day out. The sun is coming out and it's getting warmer. I got my seat warm on, but it's a little too hot. It's 45 degrees and the sun is out, so it doesn't feel too bad. But this morning, oh my God, it was so cold. It's nice and warm in the car, but as soon as I would get out, um, hold on, y'all. As soon as I would get out, it was so it was so bad you know what let me go to Burlington real quick I'm looking for something I might even find something there it's literally right next door let me stop by there real quick and then I'll go to Ollie's that's what I'll do make sure everything good all right y'all so um one of Destiny's bigger gifts for Christmas is already here which is a vanity set homegirl is all into self-care and just stuff like that y'all could tell with the last vlog for when we went to the mall that's what she cares about she plays with her toys she still plays with toys and stuff but like she i could see that she's growing up and she cares about those kinds of things so a company reached out to me and asked me that i wanted a vanity which is crazy because that's what we had on our christmas list to get her a vanity she didn't know but we got it. We, I'm so excited. So John has to put that together this week. So I can share it on the channel. 
but that's her big gift. It technically she gets that early because I gotta show it soon. Um, but I'm excited for her. Like that's the kind of stuff I dreamed of having when I was a kid, of vanity and stuff like that. I'm just letting these people cross the street. So we went to Dollar Tree. So when we went to Dollar Tree with Margarita and I, we found some organizers. Uh, some clear or plastic organizers from there so she could organize the drawers and put her little, like she has earrings and stuff and I just want I, she's gonna, it's gonna look so cute it's gonna look so cute I can't wait for John to put that together it even comes with a chair I don't think we have to get one I think it comes with a chair as well so um, but she's growing up so some of the art in her bedroom is kind of like babyish like no, it has like babyish stains on there, so I, I kind of want to change some of the art in her bedroom, but not change too much where it doesn't go with the colors in her room already. I hope that makes sense. So, uh, that'll probably be in a future video, probably the next video or two. Probably the next two videos where I'll show you guys um, me revamping some of her stuff in her bedroom. But I'm excited for her because she's growing up, but at the same time, I'm sad because she's. My baby is not really a baby anymore. She's getting closer to being a preteen and she's starting to like different things. Like she's been asking for jeans that are bell bottoms. A lot of the Southern girls down here love wearing those. And she's like, can I get jeans now? Now keep in mind, Destiny has always wore leggings because she loves leggings. And I would buy her jeans to the point that she would outgrow it and never even wear them. Now she's asking for jeans with bell bottoms and stuff like that so <laughs> oh my god let's go in here look how my burlington looks this place is a hot mess that's why i don't even like coming in here y'all this is crazy it's so hard to get through the aisles and this is not the only one <sighs> so frustrating i love this this is my style it's like gold I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's $24.99. I can see this in my half bathroom, one on each side. But I didn't come here for that. But y'all, look, this is another aisle. Like, it's a hot mess. I can't even go around the other side. I came here for designer art for Destiny's bedroom, and I cannot find it. I'm sure they have some, maybe. But I can't dig through all that. I know once I touch one piece of artwork, it's all going to fall down. All right, y'all, so I am back home, and y'all, I cannot wait to come home. I like to shop, but I do not like to shop during the Christmas season. I feel like everything is just more chaos, and it's not an enjoyable experience for me. I'm a homebody, but when I do get to go out as a planned day, I make sure it's like a treat type of thing. Around Christmas season, it doesn't feel that way. So, I just feel like the stores are more jam-packed with stuff, you know? more chaos more people and then I was just ready to come home but I was able to find the items that I was looking for but I, w I found them at TJ Maxx I went from store to for store to store finding what I'm looking for and I couldn't find it so I just got mainly what I needed for the gift exchange so while I was at TJ Maxx I remember that I also give my daughter's teacher a Christmas gift and so I'm like okay while you're here just go ahead get the teacher's Christmas gift out of the way and I went ahead and got her this. I think she will like it. Sometimes I do like the previous years I did DIY ornaments. I, I've done that with some, a Bath and Body Works hand soap and a little stuff in there. Or it's every year it's just something different. But this year I didn't want to do like hand soaps or anything like that. I just I'm like let me I think she will like this. I think she will. Her teacher is Destiny's best friends mom so it's more of a closer relationship you get what i'm saying all right for there for the 10 year old and under girl gift i got for destiny to exchange so i got this from tj maxx i just grabbed this it was so hard i didn't know it would be this hard to find a gift ten dollars like specifically just ten dollars for instance for 10 and under the, the gift should be like ten dollars so everything was I'm like, oh, that's cute, $12.99. Oh, that's cute, $15.99. And, and then the things that were cheaper were not cute at all. So I settled on this, and I hope whoever receives this gift, they like it. Um, for teenage boy gifts, the, the budget for that was $20. And I got close with this one, but not so close. This one is, what is this? I just grabbed it. 
LED Hoover soccer set. So this is for 14 and over. So this is um, one of the gifts for the boy gift. And then for the other boy gift, that teenage boy gift, I got this ski ball. This was $20, so it looks like fun. And I hope whoever receives it enjoys it. So that's what I got for the boy gifts. I've been getting like ba uh, gift bags instead of like wrapping paper. I do have some wrapping paper from last year, so I don't have to buy any this year. But I've been getting gift bags because it's just easier to just put some tissue in there and put the gift in there and call it a day. You don't have to, you know, worry about wrapping. For the male $20 gift, this is what John's going to exchange. Georgia, uh, Georgia team uh, Tumblr. Now down here, most people, you may find an Alabama fan here and there, maybe a, a Florida Gator fan, but I will say 98.2% of people here are Georgia Bulldog fans, which I don't blame them. They're the number one team, college football team, back to back. Uh, but people go hard for Georgia Bulldogs. So I do notice that a lot of people are fans. So this is what John will exchange, which by the way, that's one of the schools that Devin is considering um, for college. So one day we, we might actually go to it. I think that's pretty cool. So that's the gift that John going to exchange. Now for myself, I was in the budget and I think this one is really good. For my women gift, this was $19.99. And this is a Christmas blanket. And y'all, I wish this was mine. This is so soft. Now last year, it's a furry blanket that I got when we did the gift exchange that became my absolute favorite blanket. And you can use it all year long. But this one's a Christmas blanket. And I feel like the woman that receives this gift, she's gonna like. This is from Tommy Hilfiger plush blanket. I didn't hardly find anything that's, um, Target, so I got the hot cocoa so that y'all saw y'all seen that was it. And then last but not least, this is the only thing that I got for the house for myself, which is the Zep Fume Free Oven Air Fryer and Microwave Cleaner. Ah! <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Now y'all know I've known that Zep cleaners are really good, but when I saw this, I was I need to clean my oven. It was, it's not super dirty, but we did Thanksgiving cooking and stuff in there. And I know it needs to be clean. And this was only, as you can see, $4.79. So stove top, oh, you can do the stove top too? Countertops, microwaves, air fryers. So, and it's fume free, which is great because when it comes to cleaning the oven, I try to get something that's fume free because y'all, as an asthmatic, it doesn't go very well for me. Also, a few days ago, John checked my P.O. box. We haven't checked it in like two months because most of the time it's pretty empty. I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm even going to keep it for next year. I don't know. Yeah, I'm still debating because I know I got to renew it soon in the new year. But the first card I got was from Mrs. Cheryl Lindsay. She sent me a card and I had already opened it. It's a Thanksgiving card, you guys. I love, love cards. I do, I do, especially Christmas cards. And y'all, my birthday coming up. <laughs> it's crazy, I'm gonna be on the liquid diet before surgery on my birthday. So I'm gonna have to celebrate my birthday before. But anyway, it says, let's let there be stories and laughter and food, generous blessings and warm gratitude. Let there be joy in your moments your moments together let there be family whose love is forever it's any and family wishing you a thanksgiving filled with joyful times together meaningful traditions to share and especially love you too family mrs cheryl love y'all and happy thanksgiving so thank you so much mrs cheryl thank you i've received multiple cars from her in the past few years and i got them together um this is from cleopatra stanford and she sent me a recipe. She has written a recipe for me, a recipe for me to try. So she put a sticky note in front of the uh, the, the recipe. She said, "Hey, it's in that it's eggnog season. By the way, you have great handwriting. Um, I hope you and Mr. John enjoy this cake recipe. Say thank you and say say thank you and your family blessings uh, blessing us with wonderful videos." 
So it's a eggnog poke cake with salted caramel sauce. So she let me know over on Instagram that she sent me this recipe and she would like that um, David will try it, which he said, I told him, would you like to try this recipe? And he did say yes. So we will be trying this pretty soon. Maybe during uh, winter break, that'll be something we could do together. I think that would be a great idea. So this video is a little slightly shorter, y'all, because I'm exhausted. Honestly, I'm trying to catch up on some rest from the holiday, like from Thanksgiving. I had so much fun, but at the same time, I'm exhausted. The cooking, the baking, everything. I'm honestly exhausted. But before I end this vlog, I wanted to do the Fetch Leadership Board shout out. Now, if you don't know what Fetch is, Fetch is an app where you get to scan your receipts and receive points back with uh, towards gift cards. So I've been using this app for three years now and I love it. My sister-in-law, my brother's wife was the one who told me about it years ago and I've been using it ever since. Um, I even got to work with them, was it last year? Yeah, but this video is not sponsored. Now, I definitely recommend the app because no matter what you, you what, what no matter what receipt you you have you can scan it here and you gain points toward gift cards and i've received many gift cards before it's taking me a little longer now to uh get my points for gift cards but i love it so i like to do the leadership board shout out because i get to shout your names out and i am number 120 on here y'all it's a lot of y'all on here and i'm 120 that lets you know how many points i have but number one on the leadership board is tanya and chris hurley Number two is D Marie. Three is Lovely Brun. Four is Ryan. Is it Ryan Radford? Five, Nina Sky. Six is Stacy Faust. Seven is Quandella Ladson. I hope I said that correctly. If I did, I'm so sorry. Eight is Yazer Afifi. Nine is Kamisha Peterson. Ten is Adrian Grant. Eleven is Angie Freeman. Twelve is Michael White. 13 is Let's Be Friends, One Woman of Faith. 14 is Tia Tati. 15 is Robert Johnson. 16 is Deborah Fitch. 17 is Adrian Clark. 18 is James Pug. 19 is Heather Campbell Stark. And number 20 is Deshaun M. So that's the top 20 spots over on the Fetch Leadership Board. Shout out. So don't be, be don't be um don't feel bad that you ain't on here because neither am I. <laughs> It takes me a long time to get up there. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye, y'all. Drive alone in December rain to play my favorite song. I see a snow.